By the way, the reason why I suddenly suck from playing well is because in my mind I am always trying to switch focus types and see which works well. Like going from um, aim plus rhythm sense, as in not focusing at all at uh, my tapping hand, but just just like the cursor where it is and rhythm sense to use rhythm sense to aim to the rhythm and then my my tapping hand, hand is on autopilot i will explain what the problem with that is after i show you guys how i play that way then the other another way to focus is f for me on this is to sort of be on the edge be very twitchy and n not extremely twitchy like just just on the edge just being ready for everything and using rhythm sense plus focusing on my tapping hand then the uh, another way of focusing would be just to relax uh, not, not relax but like having a firm focus on everything at once and not really thinking about anything in particular more than anything else just playing naturally and the best way so far to play is to focus on my tapping hand and being on the edge uh, my tapping hand in the sense of rhythm like tapping to the rhythm that's the only way because it's not stamina or anything it's just like tapping to the rhythm and yeah that it that is so far the best way to play all right the problem with this type of focus where i focus on rhythm sense and aim is that it requires very good reading or at least good enough reading for you to uh, for it to not affect um, how you play because as you've seen like I keep hitting too late most of the time that's because my reading is not good enough to not think about while focusing on just rhythm sense and aim that's why it was good in the beginning, but then it like it yeah it disappeared throughout the song because it 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 is hard. The beginning is easy to read, then it becomes harder to read. Therefore, I don't have enough. I don't have good enough reading now. I will play uh, generally focused firmly at the game, but nothing nothing in particular. Let's see how we play. Uh, this type of focus is good when uh, you are playing a map that is in your stamina range, in your reading range, in your accuracy range. Like, it, if it's a map you know you can do perfectly in every way, this is the way to focus for it. Now, focusing on uh, uh, aim plus rhythm sense is good when you are playing a map that you know you can do in uh, all ways except aim coordination as in shit missing proper aim coordination is um required so you don't shit miss there are you know there are those maps that you you just like why can't i have seen this it's so annoying and i am shit missing at the easiest parts and and whatever like it's good for those kinds of maps which are very annoying that in that way and those that have very hard uh, jumpy parts like uh, I have a, a few on my profile uh, if you can't hang and uh, caramel heaven like those have very very hard jumpy parts and th that this is how I focused on those to get to those scores and uh, that's how I will focus to also FC them eventually now uh, basically you sort of do not you really do not have to focus on well no 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 I, I want to explain like how it feels to focus that way like aim plus rhythm sense 
Actually, it's a bit more complicated than that. Just not a bit more. Just just a, a tiny thi extra thing that you need to think about. All right. So you basically ignore everything during those very very hard jump parts. You uh, this mostly applies on hidden, but you could apply it if you play it with hard rock or no mod as well. I think. But if you play with hidden. Um, you ha really have to use rhythm sense, like really hardcore rhythm sense, to also to coordinate um, alright, let me restart that sentence, so you hit the very very spacey jumps by using only rhythm sense, not muscle memory rhythm sense to coordinate your two hands to aim and tap properly said notes. You do not focus at all on um, reading. You only ge need to know generally where the jumps are. Like on if you can't hang they go like this, right? Like I do not look at the fucking notes when I tap them. I look at my cursor mostly. I know where the notes are. It's not hard to re remember where they are. You just, like, and then you just, I just use rhythm sense to individually aim for the same note and indivi individually as in not trying intentionally to coordinate both hands at the same time to hit note again. It's rhythm sense coordination, not muscle memory coordination. And that's how I hit those jumps. Now, you will notice that you cannot really have just one type of focus throughout uh, the whole song. There are some songs which will make you have to switch focus types from like uh, part to part of the song again if in any in, in if you can't hang there are some jump parts that are too hard to do the way I said because they require a bit of reading since some parts are not as easy as back and forth jumps like this like they go I don't know here 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 and here and here and then like I, I don't know like they are all over the place and on those you I have to focus how I did on the other jumps like just rhythm sense coordination and a aiming f for a couple of notes with rhythm sense then suddenly switch focus on um, on my tapping hand plus the cursor like actually focusing on the cursor, yes, the cursor is on top of the note now, and fucking tap that shit. Like that, that's the twitchy type of focus that I was talking about uh, like 10 minutes ago for this map, where you're sort of on the edge and you just focus on your tapping hand and your, uh, your aim, or the cursor. Create video about techniques. It wouldn't be useful to a lot of also players. Like, I have been, I would say, lucky in the beginning that I just so happened to have been focusing the right way most of the time while playing, to be honest. Now that I think back, in my early days of playing also, I did. I had no idea about how the fuck to focus to play. Like I just played the game, and I just so happened to have been thinking the right way while playing. Like I don't know, naturally, ta like talent-wise, whatever you want to call it, instinctively, you know. But uh, maybe you've noticed the most important thing the most fucking important thing for you to have that not everyone has is a rhythm sense I'm gonna explain now what rhythm sense you know what let's turn this stream into actually rambling about also skills instead of playing because obviously I can't play right now oh it's midnight already oh I can end the stream all right perfect all right I'm gonna 
gonna totally just talk about shit now for the rest of the stream. You need rhythm sense. You cannot get good in this game without rhythm sense. Like, again, you, what are you gonna fucking do? You have only a few types of focuses you can do without rhythm sense. And even then, uh, even if you have rhythm sense and do not focus on it at all it is still used in the background like in the subconscious every one of these types of focuses relies on everything else working properly in the background of your concentration in the background of your mind like you you cannot um you cannot get uh, rely on just pure reading and pure muscle memory in this game to get good and play well. You need rhythm sense. You really do need rhythm sense. And the best way, like, it's oh, it's so hard because it, I, I, it's really hard for me to firstly imagine not having rhythm sense. Like, that's just... That's already a no-no. Like, how the fuck... How, how do you not have rhythm sense? Okay, so... Playing with hidden? Definitely. Like... Playing with hidden sort of forces you to try to use music to play the game. Again, you can apply rhythm sense in two ways. To your aim and to your tapping hand. And hidden requires both. You need to, um, I guess, playing jump maps, easy jump maps, like I don't know, say, like just this distance, in this amount of distance, jumps between each other. That's the best way to for beginners to to start learning rhythm sense, cause you, um, you basically need as easy as possible maps, as easy to read as possible maps that also have music that are easy to follow rhythm wise and that's uh, <laughs> like they're, they're, I don't know I don't know if people without rhythm sense can figure out uh, which songs are easier to follow like okay there's um there's bass slot for me. Wait, wait, what? There's bass slot for me. This map is incredibly easy to follow rhythm wise. Like, I can play this difficulty. It's AR 9.4 plus double time without needing reading at all. I can fully rely on my rhythm sense to hit everything. Basically, it's yeah I, I think this would be a very good song to try to practice rhythm sense on maybe not I don't know if it's preferential or if there really are songs that are easier to follow rhythm wise than others but yeah you, you need first of all everything to be perfect and then you start not thinking at all about what you see on the screen if you play hidden right you don't um, hold on oops don't crash please uh, these are too high ARs I guess AR9 is fine like you don't think about what you see on the screen at all you only think about a few uh, except the cursor right you think about your aim like cursor and your tapping hand and listen to the music use what you see passively do not think about it just just, just so you know where the fuck to tap shit that's how you should use it also um, before I continue it's better if you already are good at hard rock like good enough to FC hard rock maps if you are good enough to FC hard rock maps then 
it's best that you start learning rhythm sense by going uh, by playing hidden at AR10 and then going low, lower and lower with the approach rate. So you don't have to start uh, learning rhythm sense immediately after you start playing the game. You just need to have good enough reading to or to play hard rock. To FC Hard Rock. It doesn't need to be good accuracy, it just needs to be... You, you need to feel like, yeah, I'm in control of this, I can read it perfectly, and whatever, FC, piss easy songs, doesn't matter. Like, uh, And then you start adding on Hidden, and when you feel comfortable with hid Hidden Hard Rock, then you play lower approach rate Hidden maps. Because the lower the approach rate is with hidden, the more it relies on rhythm sense. Like even more than uh, hidden hard rock. Even though it's OD10, if you play no mod hidden, then it's like heavily reliant on rhythm sense to coordinate mostly. Not act, but coordinate your aim and tapping to what you see on the screen. It's really. It's uh, really hard to do that the lower the approach rate is. Yeah, you tap to the music. I mean, that's that that's obvious. I'm just saying how you do it, like exactly. Or with double time, same thing. Like you have good enough reading with double time AR. Well, no, cause uh, fuck. With with at least AR ten or ten point three, double time with that AR. Cause I feel like AR nine point six plus hidden is kind of hard for people who don't have rhythm sense. <laughs> My hair is basically a dead phone. <laughs> Alright, you just need to be aware of yourself while training something. You need to be aware that, yeah, I am focusing properly in a way that will eventually make me better at this thing. You can't just mindlessly play uh, songs or maps that you think will get you better at said thing. You need to focus on it and know you are focusing the correct way. I know what I haven't said fully, like explain better how to use the music to <coughs> how to use the music to know when to hit things, to use rhythm sense basically. Alright, so you can if you really try to use your muscle memory, like your physical muscle memory, to be the middleman between your reading and your rhythm sense. Basically, uh, what it boils down to is you. Reading is what controls your muscle memory, uh, your physical muscle memory and your rhythm sense is what controls no rhythm sense is just like a a driver you could say a driver as in like m optimizing that to a better extent you can use muscle memory to um sort of figure out there is a pattern, obviously. Rhythm has a pattern. It is... Um, if you just listen to the music, you don't play also. You listen to a song, right? It has a... It, it has a, a beat to it, right? Like... That thing, right? That needs to become part, part of your, like, focus in the game, in a way. Somehow, you need to figure out, while playing the song, what that is, what the beat is. And again, you can use muscle memory to figure that out. The muscle memory itself will learn the beat to the song. Like, obviously, it, like th there are like four jumps, right? You, you tap the four jumps at a certain fucking speed. You don't need to tap them uh, faster or or slower, right? So you could use your reading and muscle memory noticing, hey, this pattern needs to be tapped at this speed, right? Now you translate that uh, that speed at which you need needed to um, 
needed to do things into how the music sounds. Like some people apparently just cannot find that speed, that flow in the music through the music itself. Well, then you maybe you can use your reading and your muscle memory to figure it out. Like there is an obvious constant pattern for that. And if you focus on that and apply it to how the music sounds, then maybe eventually you could learn rhythm sense that way. Alright, was I clear enough? Hopefully. <sighs> Most of my top plays were first or second try on the map, please explain that. Uh, you are the type of player which sight reads maps. Basically, your reading, rhythm sense and muscle memory are good enough for you to be able to play a certain range of maps in a certain difficulty very consistently because th those three skills again muscle memory rhythm sense and uh, reading are good enough for them to allow you to do that now there are some kinds of players actually I think most players that improve at the game or, the, or a map they are trying to see by retrying over and over again by building up muscle memory or rhythm sense or building up everything using repetitive experience like experience that you know keeps uh, keeps coming by repetition to get to a point where they are good enough at that map to FC it. Now, oh, you're gonna say, oh, oh, oh I'm a sight reach player, I get to FC this map first try, wee! And uh, you might say, oh, I'm a retry player, I try hard and grind that shit, it feels good eventually. Like, there's no. Uh, no optimal way to do this really. It's all prefer preferential. In the end you should choose the way of FCing maps or playing the game which makes you feel better. What I think people, all people should do is try both and see which, it, which feels better for them. Like it's preference. In the end it's preference. It doesn't matter how you advance in the game and how you get better but uh, you you need to try both to see what works for you. Now for me, I've tried retrying, doesn't work for shit. For me, if I retry, I play worse and worse because it disrupts my focus state. Back to the focus uh, focus discussion that we had earlier. Like it's harder for me to focus the proper way when playing a map when I am bored as shit of the map and the song. For me, repetitiveness just irritates my brain and makes it perform le less than it should. And again, we go back to preference. That's why it's a preference, because some people do not get bothered by um, doing the same thing over and over again until it actually works. And that is why I, s I said uh, a year ago or so, I started a thing where, oh, you should play low AR OD10 because it improves reading and rhythm sense and all those things. It's because back then I didn't realize that it's a preference. This, the, like, the way you play the game by either retrying or sight reading. The only way that method is good, well, Actually, it, it, it's still good for everybody, but people who prefer retrying just wouldn't have much use for it or fun doing it, I guess, you know, because it's like, yeah, it's not, not their style of play. But people who reach, uh, who sight read, use sight reading ability, like don't memorize the map, don't 
uh, get better as they retry the map. They uh, they get a lot of use out of reading train training, rhythm sense training, uh, stamina training, all that shit. Like it all adds up, and eventually you get good enough to sight read harder and harder maps. Not literally sight reading, not literally playing the map a map for the first time ever. Sight reading as in not using memory or repetitiveness to help you play better. Sight reading as in you have no idea how the map is, you just sort of react to everything. Not literally, but that's how it goes. You, you ju Then you just know at some point, if you go my way of sight reading shit, you just know insti instinctively, without thinking about it, on maps how to focus on different parts of the map and that focus state switches automatically while on uh, players who retry that happens automatically at, as well but again it re just requires more and more retries oh and why usually uh, sight reading players FC something on uh, between their first second and third try is because there are moments in a map where you didn't focus correctly on a jump or a stream or whatever and you fucked up either by shit missing or uh, losing accuracy and then the second and third tries you sort of know hey that part is coming and you th then from your mistake know exactly how to focus to then not have that issue there that's why it's very rare that you actually FC first try it usually happens second or third because then you know oh I need to focus this way not the other way and I hope I, I helped you guys understand what you need to do to get better at the game it's all about the type of focus you are using and what the type of player you are then then I guess you should think for yourself and realize hey I need to play this kind of map and focus this way and, blah, 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 and eventually you get good yeah so yeah